Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me again this week. So I do want to make a little quick note here. I have, I use natural sunlight and right now it's coming and going a lot. So I apologize for the changes in the lighting throughout this video, but we're working with the best that I have. So this week I also want to state that my hair is going through a bit of a rebellious stage. I just washed and deep conditioned my hair today and normally it does amazing with these products. Normally like they are my favorite products to use and I just feel like it's not working. And then it really didn't work because I added to, I'm going in a whole spiel here, but just know that today's wash day is not an accurate reflection of how these products normally work for my hair. But let's just get into this video if I haven't scared you away already. Okay. So this week I am bringing you a battle of the deep conditioners and I'm not just battling two deep conditioners like I would traditionally do, but this week I am battling five deep conditioners, five deep conditioners from Sultanicals to be specific. And that's why I am battling them all together because I got them all at the same time and I've been reviewing them all since from summertime, mainly into the fall though and the winter time. And I've taken notes of first and second impressions. I've also taken clips here more recently of my using them and in each of these clips too I have also washed with the same products and styled with the same products to be as consistent as I possibly could. So I'm just going to kind of roll those clips then from me applying the deep conditioners and I'm going to narrate through that and explain which products I'm using and my thoughts on those and then I will come back and I'll give you my final thoughts and kind of rate these products then overall. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, curl friends, this is just my hair before I'm getting ready to wash it. Just showing you that it definitely needs some help. I show my ends here, they're very dry and just definitely need some moisture. The first Sultanicals mask that I'll be using is the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair Mask. And I'm sorry it's not focusing the greatest, but this is the first one I'll be applying. Okay, I have actually used this deep conditioner three or four times, believe it or not. It just doesn't take much, but this is a very thick, rich, creamy deep conditioner. It kind of has like a, a healthy drink smell, like a healthy green drink smell, but this applies very well. I have that um, for my pros that one, it applies well. It leaves my hair very balanced. My hair felt soft and the elasticity was there in my hair, which I look for. Some of the cons are that it is a little higher priced, it's about $16, and the availability can be a little difficult sometimes just depending on how fast it sells out on the website. So my first impression overall, great deep conditioner, very well balanced, and even through all my trials, it still left me very well impressed. The directions say to leave this mask on for 30 minutes, which is what I did. And then I'm just brushing my hair, brushing the mask or the ingredients through my hair a little bit more. And it has pretty good slip. It's allowing my brush to go through pretty well without much resistance at all. Okay, and these are my final styled results using the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair Mask. I did style with the Hass Curl Care line and I use that for all the other deep conditioners in this video. So these are my final results. Okay this is another wash day for me and my hair once again needs another deep conditioner. My hair is just kind of more dry especially at the ends and so this week I will be using the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioner. So this deep conditioner has sort of a light, sweet, fresh scent, I would say. And for the pros, I have that it has amazing slip. That's my number one pro for this. It just glides through my hair. And you'll see later that the brush goes through my hair very well as well. And then I have that it does leave my hair with pretty good moisture, but I felt like the protein was a little underwhelming. So that is the con that I have it. They're just, the protein didn't shine through for me. So my first impression overall was that I was kind of underwhelmed and that the balance for the protein just doesn't, doesn't come through time and time again when I tried this. Now, once again, I tried this about three or four times before I am giving you my final thoughts here.
The directions for this deep conditioner say to leave on for 20 minutes or more. I left mine on for about 20 minutes and then I just rinsed it out and I'm working the brush through my hair. My hair is easily tangled when I go from the shower to um, styling my hair and the brush is just going through my hair, my tangles very easily. And then this is my final styled results with the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioner. And while it doesn't look that bad on camera, I just know that the feeling wasn't what I was lacking. Like I said before, I was very underwhelmed. It just didn't leave me the moisture and elasticity that I was really looking for compared to some of the other Sultanicals Deep Conditioners. And here's my hair once again before another wash day and I am getting ready to apply my Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. Okay, I have in my notes that this has a sweet herbal scent to it and for my pros, it is once again has good balance and then that it left my hair feeling super soft after I rinsed it out, very soft. And it is a bit chunky, but I find that it didn't really hinder my applying it to my hair and so it applied decent enough. And the con that I have, however, is that the directions ask that you leave it in for an hour, which is longer than I'm used to leaving any of my other um, deep conditioners in really. So, I mean, it's a little bit long, but overall it was a pretty average deep conditioner. It basically just did what I needed it to do. And here I am just brushing through my hair after I've rinsed the deep conditioner out. The slip was decent. Um, not wowing, but it was pretty good. And then these are my final styled results. Once again, using the same Hask styling products. And I must be having a really good hair day because really in my notes and from what I can remember, this ha this mask didn't wow me, but it, it was good. It just didn't wow me, but my hair looks pretty darn good in these review clips. So I guess I was, just had a lucky day. Once again, my hair is in desperate need of a good deep condition. And I show here where my scalp is a little irritated. You can't really see it on camera, but this is the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp. And so I saved this for when I felt like my scalp definitely needed some extra help. This deep conditioner smells like a fall candle basically to me. And I will say that the first time I applied this, I did not put it up in my roots as the directions say. And so I didn't really feel like the detoxing properties of it. But every time I've used it since then, I have put it in my roots as well as my lengths. And I definitely have felt like my hair has been transformed each and every time. It leaves my hair well balanced, soft, and yet still bouncy, juicy curl clumps. And so I really like this deep conditioner. And some of the cons though is, you know, the price is still a, th a thing with these. It is about $16, I think, maybe a little bit more. And the availability on the website, this one sells out fast on her website. So you have to be on the ball purchasing this. The directions say to leave this mask on for 20 minutes or you can even leave it overnight. I, however, just left mine on for 20 minutes and I'm brushing through. You can see that it had great slip and my brush is just gliding through. And then it works after I rinse my hair out. Once again, I still have good slip for this deep conditioner. And you can see here, these are my results. I think they look really good. And I was just overall, like I said, happy with this mask. I really, really like it. My curls are, like I said, transformed every time. I have great elasticity, great softness, and it's a great mask. This last mask that I'm reviewing is the Super Faux Ambunu Hair Grow Mask. And I forgot to show you my hair, what it looked like beforehand, but I did have some scalp issues, some flaking, that I definitely felt like this mask would be good to take care of. And so my first impressions of this is that it seemed to help reduce the flakes. And as I continued to use this mask, I noticed that it left my hair very soft and it was lightweight um, when I used it. Now, the pros for this are that it has a great balance of moisture and it, like I said, it reduced the flakes and the lightweightness that I loved. It applied fairly well, but the con is that it didn't detangle the greatest. And also when I used it afterwards, my ends were still a bit frizzy. So 
it can be great for the scalp, but detangling and sometimes a little bit drier ends still aren't quite finished off. Those are the issues that I've noticed with this mask. Now this is after I have rinsed out the deep conditioner and for whatever reason I decided to use my wide tooth pick to kind of detangle my hair and usually this goes through my hair pretty well but as you can see I am kind of struggling with it and so it just didn't have the greatest slip after I rinsed it out. Ignore my funny looks that I'm making while I'm looking in the mirror. I am really concentrating on trying to get all the knots out of my hair at this point. And here we have my finished results using this Super Furrow Ambunu Hair Grow Mask. And from the distance, it looks pretty good. But if you look up close, you can see that my ends are definitely still rather dry and frizzy, which not what I expect when I get a deep conditioner. And then I also show parts of my areas where I've had troubles with the flaking before. And this has always helped in the past, this mask. But for some reason, this time, it did not clear it up entirely. So... I don't know what that's all about. Like I said, the other three times I've used this, this has really helped my scalp and I haven't had issues for a while afterwards, but this time it just didn't work its magic completely on me. So overall though, it's really not a bad mask. It really usually does give me great results. This time just wasn't quite on par. Okay. And so we've gone through all five deep conditioners and now it is my, t my chance to rate them or my turn to rate them. And I have them here beside me. And I've been considering this for a while. And actually, this is my second time shooting this um, beginning and end ending part of this video. So I am on the verge of changing my opinion, but I don't think I'm going to. And I'll explain myself here in a little bit. But for my fifth place deep conditioner that I am choosing is the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. This primarily is in fifth place because... It just underwhelmed me. This I had the highest expectations for. I was expecting in the title of the of in the title <laughs> that it would give me more elasticity to my curls. I thought the proteins would react better with my hair, and it just left my hair kind of wanting. So I was just disappointed overall with that. But it's not a bad deep conditioner. It's just not something I will repurchase because it really doesn't meet my hair's needs entirely. The fourth place deep conditioner that I am choosing is actually close between the third and the fourth, but I think the fourth place one I'm going to go with is the Glide and Go, let's try that title again, the Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. And I think the reason why I'm going to choose this one for fourth place over the other one, which I'll reveal here in a minute, is because one, the glide of this wasn't exactly super fantastic. Like it didn't have the best slip. It wasn't bad. It just didn't have the best slip. And um, the fact that it recommends the directions say to leave it on for an hour or overnight, but your girl ain't doing this overnight. That's for sure. So an hour is definitely a long time for me to be leaving a deep conditioner on. Now that's not to say like it over moisturized my hair. It was the right amount. Like the directions were correct for this product, but it's just a long time to be having your hair clipped up wet and it's just not my cup of tea. If I can do it in 30 minutes, okay, that's a standard time I would expect. 15, 20 minutes, even better. But um, an hour, you know, I'll do it when I need to, but I don't look forward to having my hair wet on my head for an hour if I can help it. So the reason why then that this third place one was in third place was because it beat it out, the other one out on the timing. And so third place is the Super Fro Ambunu Hair Grow. And it's supposed to be a scalp defense hair intensive mask. And this one, kind of as, as I was saying, it requires 30 minutes in the directions. And normally this really does help my scalp issues that I have. The time that I was filming my application of this, it doesn't really show up in the video, I don't believe, but it really didn't help my scalp flaking at that time. And so... It was a fluke because of the four times I've used this, three out of the four times it did help. So it, it is a good mask. I like the way it smells. It kind of has that false scent to it. Um, but yeah, third place. And I just had to take a sniff test there. So 
Now between the top two deep conditioners, like I was on the verge of changing my mind and I'm not going to, I'm going to keep this one in the second place, but these are, these are so close here. The second place I'm going with the Hibiscus Hair Healer Healthy Scalp Therapy Mask. And this is just a really good mask. It leaves your hair just transformed sort of. And um, it has a great scent too. I think I like that fall scent really. But anyways, uh, it does smell kind of floral as well. But anyways, this mask, like I said, it leaves your hair transformed. It does have um, Moroccan clay here kind of in the middle of the ingredients. So it le like a clay treatment does leave your hair purified, but this doesn't have that tacky, or not really tacky, what do I want to say that, that crusty, dried feeling that clay masks will leave on your hair for a while. And I just don't enjoy the application of a clay mask, but this gives me the benefits of it without that nasty feeling of application of a clay mask. So I really like this. It is a little hard to get because, I don't know, for some reason it's always sold out on Sultanical's website, it seems like. So for the top one, it is the Fro Despair Vitamin Hair Repair, a plant foods mega deep conditioner. This is my top one. And I did feature this in my top favorite deep conditioners at the end of 2021. I had to think about that year. Yeah, in the end of 2021, I featured this. And so I'm still sticking with this on the top. The reason why I was considering changing was because, because of one failed wash day, this wash day. Your girl just didn't have a good wash day overall. I think I applied too much product, especially here, um, styling products. These are finer areas, they just can't take that much. And I don't know, my hair is just kind of going through a little rebellious stage and I'm trying to figure it out. But this has always done well by me. I've used this one actually more than four times. I've used this one five or six times. And it just, it always delivers. Except for today. But it, it always delivers and I trust this one. It has um, biotin in it, which helps with strengthening my hair. And further down on the list, kind of towards the two thirds of the way down, it has brown rice protein. And I didn't really look at that before, but now that I had checked those ingredients out a little bit more and paid attention, I'm like, okay, that's why my hair really likes this so much because it has that protein in it, which Sultanicals masks aren't really usually strong in proteins. So I really like this one and I will continue to use this and more than likely repurchase. These top two, I will definitely see myself repurchasing. The other three, the verdicts, well, the other two, the middle two, the verdicts still out on. But, um, so yeah, this is my favorite. Okay, curlies, I hope you've enjoyed my little experimentation with these five Sultanicals masks. And if you've liked this at all, please hit that like button down below. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments about these masks, please, please leave them down below as well in the comments. I'd love to answer them as best as I am able. And if you've tried any of these, let me know what your thoughts are, like what your results were. Was it what you were expecting or not? And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye. One, two, three, four.